What's good? Team Exclusive and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today, of course, back with um, expensive SPC day of the week, number five, I believe it is. Day five of expensive SPC day of the week. Um, of course, today is the 15th of December, which of course means we have our Manchester United um, player SPC in store. And I'm very curious to see who it's going to be because there's lots of rumours that it could be a right mid Martial, which would uh, be incredibly insane and also would be incredibly expensive. Uh, there's lots of talk about a centre-back Van Bissaka. Very nice option as well. I, I'd probably prefer him. I'd like to see him at CDM if there was a Van Bissaka SPC, but uh, the player I really want is a striker Phil Jones. So that would be really cool, but uh, we'll see who it is today. Of course, we have a puzzle SPC as well. We've got Aaron Van Bissaka. Okay, where is he going to play though? He's playing at centre back. Wow. Okay. Jesus, and it takes three. It takes three, as you can see right there. Holy shit! Wow. I I mean I knew they were going to do it, and it's just really sad at this point that like they clearly know that you you you're going to have like the Joe Gomez link up with Aaron Van Bissaka. It's just a bit of a dead position change as well. In my personal, humble opinion, like right back to centre back, it's just not really that exciting. Um, like what they did with Gaia, they moved him from left back to strike. And yeah, okay, he's not the most usable card or, or maybe not the most meta card or the most, uh, or maybe not has the most longevity in the game. But um, it's fun and it's different. And, and that's pretty much what I think this is all about. Clearly not, because it's just uh, it's just a bit dead. So um, he's got obviously 81 pace, 85 defending, 83 physical. Like what are we saying? Three squads. It's got to be. I'm going to say an 85, an 86, and an 87. Maybe with team of the weeks as well. But we'll see what's see what's up. So an 84 with team of the week, an 85 with the team of the week, and an 86. It's just ridiculous. It's just insane. It really is. Like they they put an icon SPC as well. 84, 85, 85, and 8. 86 I believe with team of the weeks as well and now they throw in um, three squads with an 84 85 and an 86 two requiring a team of the week pure insanity like I just don't know how people have the players to do it anymore if you're doing the icon SPC as well like it's insane and, and look at the packs you get for as well it's so fucking infuriating how they've completely shat on all of the rewards for the um, for SPCs like Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, okay. Prime Mixed Players Pack, okay. And then a Rare Mixed Players Pack, who cares? Who actually cares? Like, it's so dead, man. It's so dead and it's so sad. Like, the comparison, Marquinhos, one squad, requires an 86. Okay, maybe a little bit expensive, but he's a very decent card. And then they go for a Premier League centre-back who's English, strong links to everybody, and your mum. And it's uh, three squads, like, EA play on the meta so hard, and it's uh, it's annoying. It generally is annoying. But there we are. So we've got Aaron Wambasaka, um, 85 rated centre-back with, you know, it's a good it's a good centre-back. All, all, um, all hate aside, it's a good looking centre-back. Obviously, good, uh, good high-end pace, dribbling's okay. Um, like... Passing is not brilliant. It's got good short passing, but long passing is a bit dead, as you'd probably expect. Um, yeah, dribbling is quite good for a centre back. Um, defending, incredible. Stamina and strength and physicals, that kind of stuff, really good. So it, you know, no um, no credit away from the fact that it's a very good card, or probably will be a very good card in game. It's uh, just, in my opinion, a bit of a dead position change and. The, the the SBC itself is wildly, wildly too expensive in my opinion. Um, like just go buy Joe Gomez for seventy thousand coins or Carl Walker. I don't know how expensive his inform is. We'll have a quick look actually, because they're comparable. I mean, you could even play Carl Walker right back at um, at centre back. But we'll have a look. So Kyle, your boy Walker, go for his team of the week. How expensive are we seeing? Oh wow, okay, oh geez, okay, never mind about Carl Walker then. So he's, uh, he's, why, what, 600,000 coins? His uh, right back is about what, like, probably about 80, 
by the looks of it. Still about 80,000 coins, which is mental. But uh, Gomez, we'll have a quick look. I'm pretty sure he's come way down in price from where he was. Joe Gomez, 83 rated, 50,000 coins. And arguably, pretty much the same card. Um, you know, obviously, you could pinpoint a few differences in his card. Like, you know, um, he's got better pace. Defending and physicals, may, maybe not quite as good as Aaron Wembasaka. Um, and passing as well, probably not quite as good, nor dribbling. But in a centre-back, you, you don't really need a lot of those things. Defending physicals, as long as you've got basically what he has right there, you're, you're, you're fine. Um, there's plenty of centre-backs, I think, that you could easily go for that are just as good, if not, I wouldn't say better, but there's a lot. Um, let's just have a quick look as well, what we're having a look at. So, centre-back, uh, we'll just go with specials. Stick out there, so we're gonna have a look at what we're saying. Probably about, I don't know, maybe we'll have a look on a uh, foot, foot head in a second or foot bin and uh, see how expensive he really is. But we'll say 300,000 coins for the moment, um, see what you can get. So, Servi, obviously not anywhere near as good. Um, Marquinhos, arguably quite similar. Um, I mean, Gabriel, way up there, if not better than Wan Bissaka, and he's 17,000 coins. So, if anything, you know. There you go. There's your better option right there. 17,000 coins for a much better centre-back. I mean, it's actually cheaper than that. He's probably about 15. So, what a bargain. Tons of his Serbies on the market, though. Someone, uh, obviously, trying to get rid of them. It really is a lot. Damn. Um, Varane, there's one as well. So, he's like 200,000 200, coins. Again, a very expensive centre-back, but um, tradable and um, probably just as good. The other one I think would be um, Virgil. I don't know how much he's going for. We'll have a quick look as well. Big Verge. I know he's come down as well. So he's now 250. He's 250 and tradable and um, like incredible. Incredible centre back. Uh, I think. I don't know. It's hard to say. I haven't played with Wan a lot. Playing with a, a right back and he's good. So it's hard to say who would be better or, or worse. But. Um, yeah, I think there's just it's just pointless. It's like the um, the Bruno SBC. Uh, it's way too expensive for what it is. Like it's untradeable. You might as well just go get his 89 or his 90 if you can afford it. And you, you're not going to notice that much difference. Yeah, he's got better stats on his 91, obviously, because he's an upgrade. But you're you're really not going to notice that big of a big of a, a a difference in game. But uh, the freeze challenge, moving onwards, is a pretty dead pack, a jumbo premium gold pack. Like, it's just a bit pointless at this point. It really is. So, 75 rated. I mean, I really just can't be bothered. It's just pointless. Really is pointless. We'll have a quick look, actually, before we go off that. If there's any new um, any new other things in store. Obviously, we've still got the upgrade packs as per for another 13 days or so. Um, free challenge. Lewandowski. Looks like we've got a new kit as well. A couple of new kits. I haven't seen the butterfly one. So... I don't know if they dropped them at the same time. We've got Mr. Cartoon, which you need. Um, no, that 75 rated squad, like it's just a bit pointless for a kit. I don't know. Um, doesn't actually look all that good in my opinion. There's a lot going on. It just looks a bit a bit strange. Butterfly kit, that's actually quite a nice kit in fairness. Um, not something I'd probably actually use. And a lot cheaper. So minimum gold, rares. Actually, it's probably not cheaper. Again, just pointless. Why make it a gold squad for a kit? I just don't get it. Like, a gold squad for a kit is far too expensive. Would you pay... I mean, what if you put all non-rare... So, 11 non-rare golds. Well, that's three and a half, three and a half thousand coins thereabouts. Um, depending on who you use and what have you. Whereas, you could sell them for a lot more on the market. And three and a half thousand coins for that kit? I don't know if I'd pay that. And probably about the same for that one. It's just like... I just don't get it. Anyway, we do have his loan, which I probably will do. As long as it's not too expensive. Because it's not too expensive, please. Okay, six golds, two rare, English one, 70 chemistry, just a Premier League squad, pretty much, and uh, can play as loan. I mean, that's actually very good for um, the icon swaps. I can probably see that happening a lot in the friendlies. People using Wan um on it on his loan, and rightly so. Why not? But it looks like it's pretty much it, unless there's any other new leagues. There's not any new icons. And there's no, there's not. Okay, so we're going to jump over to Foothead and uh, see what's up. Okay, so let's see where are we. Um, see if um, um, Bissaka, see if he's got any price coming in just yet. 
I wouldn't imagine he does. Oh, he does. Wow. Gee, even more than I thought it was. So he's coming in at uh, just under 400,000 coins on uh, PlayStation and just over 400 on Xbox and just near 450 on on um, PC. So 400, we'll say 400,000 coins to save any kind of debates, but 400,000 coins. Are you mad? Like, are you mad? Again, as we've mentioned, you can get Gomez. Uh, Joe Gomez. Let's have a look at his inform as well. I mean, it's going to be the same thing, but so Joe Gomez inform is is less than that. So he's about the same price, and arguably probably better. Um, let's actually have a look as well, because I'm really curious to see what the uh, what the difference is. So Juan Bissaka. Pretty sure that's how you spell it, isn't it? Juan Bissaka. It wasn't. Never mind. Anyway, um, so Joe Gomez. So Joe Gomez is. Um, got a better pace it's got i mean dribbling pretty irrelevant depending on the face card is the same and physicals arguably very very similar passing is negligible um what is his passing anyway long short so he probably he probably does have slightly worse passing overall but arguably pretty much the same card and he is cheaper and he's cheaper so he's about 400 000, of course and tradable so if you don't like don't like joe gomez which i just you'd be mental um then i'd really go for that but van dyke obviously has a rule, uh, record breaker but he's currently going in at about two hundred thousand coins again to save any debates Two hundred thousand coins and probably a better better defender better defending better physicals i mean passing is probably i don't know arguably about the same um I don't know. I just think I just think there's so many better options, and for an SBC, it's just it's just stupid. Obviously, it's rule breakers. It's, it's wildly way too expensive. But um, yeah, 98 to centre back for half the price, half the price of Wan Pasaka. Um, I want to have a look at Varane as well, just to clear up a few things. So obviously, a few other options if you've got like a Liga Santander team. Again, Varane is going to be so much cheaper at just under 150,000 coins, unless you're on PC like myself. Then he's uh, 200,000 coins and he's equal, equal if not better. So I um, I don't get it. I really don't get it from EA at all. Um, I don't get it. I just don't get why it has to be so expensive. I get meta centre-back, you know, English, strong links all across the board to pretty much everybody and their mum you can think of. Um, I don't know. I just don't get it. I just don't, I don't get it. I don't understand the point of making all these kind of illustrious cards so expensive. Um, like, I, I get he's good, but I don't see the 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 harm in letting people have it for cheaper. Like, so what if everybody has this card in their team? Everybody has Joe Gomez, and he's what eighty thousand coins. Everybody has an incredible team already. Everybody's got Mbappe's, Neymar's, that kind of stuff. Um, so I don't understand why they why we have to pay four hundred thousand coins for an SBC like every single time. It's annoying. It really is because EA have got this kind of mentality of like, um, oh, he's you know he's meta, he's English, he links to Joe Gomez, Carl Walker, all these kind of players. So we've got to make him really expensive so people don't have him or can't get him that easily. Like why? But just let people have it. I get, okay, if he was 50,000 coins, it'd be a bit like, okay, you know, it's a bit ridiculous. But if you made him 150,000 coins, okay, a lot of people might have him. But at least, you know, you're giving back to the community a, a little bit. I guess that's uh, that's too much to ask. Anyway, his price has dropped a little bit. We'll uh, refresh the page. So he's coming in at just, uh, just under 400,000 coins currently. He probably will settle about, what, 350 maybe? So he might come in a bit cheaper than... Uh, what we already um, what we already discussed, but yeah, maybe at three fifty. I still think that's wildly too expensive for what he is. Um, it's crazy. It really is. It really is mental. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, that's where we're going to end it today. So, um, but yeah, so that's where today's video is going to end. I, I just don't get it. Um, I just don't get it. Really don't. Um, I really thought Footmus or, you know, Foot Freeze, which is, I suppose, in, in place of Footmus now. Um, I thought it was about giving back, you know, letting us have some really fun things. 
Um, obviously, we're not going to get free packs. I think we did, they did that at one point in Footmus. They just gave us free packs, which was quite nice. But, um, you know, they're obviously not doing that anymore unless they do that on Christmas. But, um, yeah, I always, I always thought Footmus was about giving back, but it's clearly not. It's about taking and uh, continuously taking until we've got nothing left. Got nothing left. And it really is the case. Because, like I said, you know, they've dropped the Icon SPC, which is, okay, cheaper, but it still requires quite a lot. And now they just throw it in Aaron Wambasaka for 400,000 coins. It's just... It's mental. It really is. It's just sad. It really is just sad at this point. It's just sad where this game's going. I mean, if you look at Footmas over the years as well, um, like we had three player SBCs a day. I think that was back in Foot Foot 17. And then it just went down to two, down to one. And now here we are. So next year, we probably will just get like a flash SBC or something, a freeze freeze challenge SBC for the day. And, and we're meant to be happy with that. So I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below. Are you going to be doing this Wampasaka? Um, I for sure as shit won't. Um, mainly because I don't have enough coins and players in the club to actually do it. And I just think it's ridiculous. I think if we if we do this, um, we're telling EA this is, you know, we're okay with overpriced SBCs. Um, the more people, you know, the more people that buy into it, the more chance EA are going to keep doing it. So hopefully we can band together as a community and not do it but we'll see i guess we shall see i think if you're if you are looking to do it just do his loan and at least then you can use it in friendlies forever um and obviously for three games in rivals and whatever but um yeah so hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you have please do drop it a like that'd be very very much appreciated if you want to see more of this content as we do this every single day at 6 p.m always usually uploaded by about half seven um UK time. So if you want to see more of this, do subscribe to the channel and become part of the exclusive family. Um, hopefully you enjoy what we do around here. And yeah, like I said, we are getting Draft to Glory and the Road to Glory out uh, throughout the day before. Um, I think we, I'm trying to upload about 3 p.m. Draft to Glory and, and the Road to Glory respectively, um, and then get this out later in the evening. So um, yeah, if you want to see more of that, do subscribe and join us on this journey. But uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and we shall see you next time, which is tomorrow, of course. Overpriced SBC day of the week. Yeah, let's go.